Okay, Echo Fang Red Wolf. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I am here to apologize to everyone for the video that I deleted. So I'm going to give you the context and only the context of the video and why I deleted it. First, I deleted it. I did a lot of cussing. I did a lot of overreaching and I don't want to do that. Especially the cussing. And because I'm trying to break into the acting business unless I become a comedian, but I'm not funny other than funny looking, I'm never going to get a comedian job. However, if um, things are to fall in place, I probably need to clean up a little bit, so I need to cut back on swearing. And now for the context of what the video was going to be about. So the video was going to be about a TikTok about black men and black women. Black men not wanting to date black women who already had children, and black women who were um, telling black men that they won't shit because they won't date women with children. And that's pretty much the, the gist of it. And then I got into my own personal feelings and I got into things that has happened in my personal life because of black women who have children with black boys disguised as black men who got siblings pregnant and then either were in jail or just pretty much ran for the fucking hills. So... I got into that, and I'm sorry for swearing just now because I know I just said ran for the effing hills. And, you know, the fact of the matter is that the entire chit-chat of TikTok got me irate. I mean, it really pissed me off because I have lost a lot of my life taking care of other people's kids. And I don't say that posthumously. I say that shit because of the truth. I have five sisters. Four younger sisters. Out of the four younger sisters... My younger sister was the only one who got married and is still married to this day with her husband. Where the three siblings above her have had some um, bad procreation choices. And I went into detail, which I shouldn't have done, which is why I deleted the video. And also talked about women lying to their children. And again, I went into detail about um, my parental unit lying on my other parental unit and how I discovered it by telling my father that he was a liar. And it just went deep. And that's some shit that, like, if I ever write a bio biography book and after my other parental unit has gone to meet Jesus, then I could go ahead and reveal all that. But while that parental unit is still alive and I still love that parental unit, I would prefer not to make that parental unit um, be the bad guy. No. It is not a misunderstanding. It's just that there's a respect level that I don't want to um, put her shit out there like that. So I deleted the video. And, and, and you know, under other circumstances, had the parental unit did the right thing in the first place and started riding on the people who kept having bad procreation choices instead of saying, okay, fuck it, we're going to make Echo take care of these children instead of making these assholes that continue to have the children with people who had no business having children with them in the first place, um, we would, it would be a whole different conversation because everybody would know who I am because I would have been able to focus on the career that I want versus the career that I want that I'm struggling to still get because I have to put more effort in because I'm old now. I'm 49 versus back when all this stuff first started and I started chasing this dream back when I was in my 20s. But every time I turned around, I had to put my dreams on hold because of bad procreation decisions. And because my family is mixed, this hits closest to home because it has to deal with young black women. And there's a, a, a video, I did a video about this, and I'll tap in on it right now. I made a video about how young black women are always told by other girls, specifically other black girls, that if you get pregnant by a boy, that he is going to stay with you forever. And for some finite reason in women's brains, and I'm not trying to be mean or sexist, I'm just being honest, for some finite reason in a woman's brain, that when she has sex with someone, she immediately thinks that getting pregnant is the best idea. And I'm here to tell you, respectfully, it's not. In fact, it is the worst idea you can possibly have. And if you don't have a parental unit or some other female in your life influencing you to not have babies before you're 21 and to go get some damn life experiences, then every female in your life has failed you. And I'm sorry. I'm going to put it out there one more time. And it doesn't matter if you're black, Asian, white, and no circumstances... Are, are a different thing if you're ever sexually assaulted or whatever, or, or you're in one of these new pro birther birther states where even if you're 10 and you get raped, the state won't let you freaking have 
an abortion and you got to carry the baby, that's a different ball game and scenario. But when you're old enough to know better, when you're like 15 years old, you're well past old enough to know that if you have sex, you're probably going to get pregnant if you don't use condoms or birth control. And a lot of young black girls, and I can say it from the black community because I was raised in the black community, a lot of young black girls are taught by other girls that if you get pregnant, this dumb boy is going to stick with you forever. He's going to be a great man. He's going to be a great dad. You're 15. You should be thinking about anything other than fucking. And you should be thinking of anything other than being a fucking mother before you've actually gotten through school, started college, and lived a little bit. No. And like I said, in my family, me and my sisters wanted to be grown so bad they didn't even think the plan, the consequences, none of that. And I had to pay for that shit. So that's why I deleted the video. Hopefully that will make some sense to y'all. Hopefully you will accept my apology. Hopefully I taught you something. And if you know any young black girls, or if you're a young black girl, or if you're a young girl in general, you need to raise your daughter. If you're a man or a woman, you need to raise your daughter. And I'm going to end the video with this. You need to raise your daughter with three factors in mind. Factor one, as a man, as a woman, as a parent, you will never be able to stop your child from having sex. Someone is going to talk your son or your daughter out of their underwear and they're going to have sex. But you need to fact number two, your child doesn't have to fucking be stupid about it. Do not, one, believe what little boys and little girls tell you about having sex and that nothing can happen because... Even these motherfuckers ain't a thousand percent foolproof. But at that same time, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And you need to teach your sons and your daughters these damn things can keep your life from going in a direction that it wasn't supposed to go. In other words, having a baby before you have a plan, having a baby before you have a job, before you have a career, before you've lived your life is a bad fucking idea. And yes, that's about the fourth time I've used the fucking F-bomb, okay, fifth time now. But this is important and I'm angry that I didn't get to live my life because these were not used and I was forced to be a man before my time. Not once, not twice, but every time somebody popped up pregnant. I lost years of my life taking care of other people's kids, which is why I do not want to date a woman with children. It's not fair to ask me to date a woman with children. Now, she's got one. It's workable. Also, depending on that child's age, if she's got more than one, it's a no-go. It's a deal-breaker just because of some fact. That's not fair to me because I can't, I can't make you put your kids before me, and I should never be a dumb man and ask that. But at that same time, you still should not be telling me I got to take care of your kids, especially when I don't have any of my own. And I've been bringing up kids that are not mine since I was fucking seven years old. So no. Now finally, number three. Number three. Just because someone has sex does not mean it is a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with having sex. But you don't have to be dumb about it. That was number two. And number three, the most important thing. Just because your lover has a tight pocket or has a long machine and a good lick game does not in any way shape or form mean that they are going to be daddy material period so if I've offended anybody with this video I apologize but the hardcore truth is really quite simple people stop lying to your children stop telling your daughters to get pregnant before they're 21 years old and then they don't get the chance to live their life because now they got to take care of this baby because that boy that was pretending to be a man, boom, bam, boom, and left. And not only did he leave, he goes to start talking about female genitalia and it not being fresh down there. So tell your daughters, if you are a man, if you are a woman, tell your daughters, there's nothing wrong with having sex. Don't be stupid about it. Don't tell your business to everybody. Just because you had sex with the fucking the guy on the football team, you don't need to tell anybody. And more importantly, if you're the boy having sex with that girl, you don't need to tell anybody. It's nobody's business but the two people in that room. Three if you count God, because you know God is watching. But any damn way, do not let other people lead your child astray. I'm telling you, have talks with your children. When they start developing, you start getting in their head. You'd be the only voice of reason in their head. So when little girls hear other little girls say, you know what? Johnny is a bad man. 
if you have sex with Johnny and get pregnant with Johnny, Johnny gonna be there forever. You have sex with Johnny, Johnny's gonna leave you like a fucking hot potato. Because Johnny and you are both 15 years old and Johnny don't know a damn thing about fucking damn having a baby. He knows what feels good while he's got you in the Boston Crab position or he's got you in the um, cowgirl, reverse cowgirl or the lickety smickety. You know, when he's doing that, he knows how it feels. He knows how it makes you feel. But the consequences that come after STDs or birth Johnny don't know about that shit. They do teach you that shit in, in, in sex ad class, but the only thing Johnny thinking about is having sex. How good is it going to feel? What, what what am I going to do? So, that being said, that is why I deleted the video. I went deep into my family shit, and I didn't really, shouldn't have really done that. And then I, I just went, like, my anger as I'm angry right now just kept going and going, and I kept talking and talking. And then I thought, you know what? If I got a chance of getting a job outside of all the f bombs I dropped in this video, um, I need to delete that. And so I did. And to anybody watching, especially if you're an acting company or whatever, and you're looking to give me work, please forgive me for swearing. I'm angry about this whole thing because I lost so much of my life. My career could have took off 20 damn years ago if it wasn't for people in my family getting in my way having all these bloody children with men who were not men, they were boys pretending to be men, and my life got taken from me because of a few bad decisions that I didn't even get a chance to make. I don't have kids because I couldn't go out and start a family because I was taking care of other people's families. Not just once, but since I was seven years old. Because my mom did the same dumbass shit that she allowed her daughters to do. And it's true when the apple doesn't fall from the tree. And I'm going to close on this. I'm going to close on this and I pray that you all listen. If you don't hear any damn thing else I said in this video. If you are growing up in a single mother household. And you are a female. And you watch your mom go from boyfriend to boyfriend. Baby to baby to baby. Do not do that shit. Learn from her struggle. Because if she's not eating and y'all are eating, it's guaranteed that she's in that room crying somewhere because she didn't have enough food to put on your fucking plate. And rather than her eat, she'd rather you eat. So do not do that. Thank you for watching. I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. BCNU.